Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. Have you ever found yourself manually selecting multiple fields every time you want to switch between different hierarchy levels in Power BI? Imagine needing to analyze sales over time, so you first add year, then quarter, then month. Or maybe you are analyzing products and then you need to switch between category, subcategory and product name. Wouldn't it be great if you could just click one button and instantly see the right hierarchy without selecting multiple fields every time? Well, here's the problem. Power BI does not let you add hierarchies to field parameters. But I've got a workaround. In this video, I'll show you how to use field parameters to dynamically switch between a time hierarchy and a category hierarchy all with a single slicer. No more manually selecting multiple fields, this trick will make your Power BI report way more interactive and user friendly. Let's get started with this tutorial. Let's start by creating a new field parameter. Let's go to the modeling tab. Under new parameter here, I'm going to choose fields and let's give this a name. I'm going to call this as hierarchy. If I expand my products table here, you will see that I have a category hierarchy. When I try to bring in the category hierarchy into the field section here it does not let me do because the parameters do not support hierarchy. So the workaround here is that you will have to drag in these fields manually. For me to create the category hierarchy I will have to drag in fields manually category field, subcategory field and then the brand field. And now I would also like to create the time hierarchy. So to do that I can go into my sales table and from my order date field I have my time hierarchy let me expand this I have my time hierarchy here I can now bring in the year quarter and then the month and then I can click on create I have the field parameter created here I have this category subcategory brand year quarter month now when I select any of this obviously it is not going to affect my matrix visual because I will have to get rid of this hard-coded category hierarchy here and replace that with the field parameter hierarchy. And now when I choose any field from my slicer here, if I choose category, I have my category appearing in the visual. If I choose subcategory, my subcategory is appearing. And when I choose year, I have my year appearing on my matrix visual, right? But for me to display the hierarchy, I will have to choose multiple fields here manually. And now when I have selected all of these three fields manually here, I can now expand them and take a look at all of these three categories. Likewise, if I want to take a look at the year hierarchy, I have to select all of these three fields manually. That's when I'll be able to see them manually, right? Now, this is not what we want. We want to just have a single click so that all of these three fields get selected automatically. So let us see how we can do this. Let's go back into our hierarchy. Into our hierarchy, in my hierarchy parameters that we created, you can see that we can modify our piece of code. At the end of every field, we have the sort order mentioned at the end of the line. Now, instead of after the sort order, I'm going to type in a comma here, open double quotes and enter the hierarchy name. In this case, I'm going to call this as category hierarchy. Now, let me copy this and paste it against all of my category hierarchy until the brand. And then I'm going to give it a name for the year hierarchy instead of category hierarchy i'm going to call this as date hierarchy and then i'm going to copy this and paste it here against the quarter and month as well and then click on confirm and now you can see that nothing really has changed but when you go into your hierarchy parameter or table here you will see that there's a new field added here called value four now let's go back here into our slicer and let's drag the value four above our hierarchy and the moment I do that you will see that we've now changed our fields into the hierarchy and when I expand date hierarchy here you see that we have year quarter and month and under category hierarchy I have sub I have category subcategory and brand now when I choose the category hierarchy here and you will see that we have all of these hierarchies added and now when I select date hierarchy I have year quarter and month automatically added to our visual. And that's it. Now you know how to create a dynamic time and category hierarchies in Power BI using field parameters, even though Power BI doesn't allow hierarchies by default. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. It really helps. Comment below if you have any questions or want me to cover more Power BI tricks. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our future Power BI tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.